All right, today we'll be going over what's in my tech closet. We're going to be doing a full, thorough tour of what's in there, and we're going to be making a lot of changes. Let's get started. All right, so you know I have to take you off the tripod and show you exactly what we got going on up in here. All right, so we're going to take you into the tech closet. Of course, we have the main section up top. We have my range bag. We have all the equipment that I have, extra equipment that I have, that I haven't used yet or don't have a particular need for them as of yet. We have some Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the back. We got a stream deck, a uh, Yeti. We have all of my camera boxes. So majority of these things, I'm going to go ahead and um, take them out to make space because I want to have a section to where it's just all my range gear and then all of my tech right so that's gonna be the major revamp of this tech closet of course I guess you can call me a hoarder because these are the boxes that came with the paperless background that I have set up in the office so these can of course come out as well and we have a bunch of boxes down here so we have some advanced.gg energy drink we got something that will be unboxing soon to show you guys and we have some extra water in the back for the side table so all these things are gonna come out we're just gonna make some extra space in this closet right because it's pretty cluttered okay I like all right, let's cut. It's not that cluttered, right? But we can do better, okay? So all these things down here, um, you probably can't see it right now because of the light, but we have all of the cases for the aperture light as well as the um, the hood that comes with it. On this table here, we have a lot of miscellaneous items that we can find a home for it, right? So all these things are gonna be removed from the closet and we're gonna figure out the best way to utilize this space, right? Because as you can see, we got a lot of things on the floor. I wanna clean that up. We got a lot of boxes I need to get rid of. And I wanna make sure that in here is neat right left side is going to be for range equipment right side is going to be for tech so we're going to go ahead and get that started and plus you have a bunch of cameras or lenses that i'm not using so all those things can go into like additional storage just not in well depending on how everything's going to turn out we might put it in extra storage or make a nice little spot for it in the closet right because all these things i'm pretty sure we can find a, a good area for them so this might be a two-part series though because this is going to be the first initial part where we're going to go ahead and see if we can make some space for the additional items that are in the closet as well as get some lights in this bad boy maybe some shelves for like, like all my extra holsters that i am not currently wearing and all of all of those things right so ikea is going to be the next stop maybe for the second part of this particular series and then yeah we'll see how it ends up looking yeah so all these boxes right can go so these three i just need to let go of these bad boys and get rid of them right because there's no need for me to have these paperless backdrop boxes the extra advanced can go here but in the meantime this box you guys probably saw oh damn you saw it right <laughs> anyways that's gonna be it for a video coming soon the extra fiji for the sobro because you know what i'm saying whenever my my water is out i got an extra bottle right there you gotta stay hydrated also this i think i want to move this over to the right side so let's go ahead and get started with this first since it's you know in the way of course i made videos about majority of the equipment in here so of course we have the nd filters as well as the cap that comes with it link in the description if you guys want to go ahead and watch that video i do need to find an area or something to where i can like house these right because this is my one terabyte ssd sd card reader as well as um, portable battery charger for everything right so i need to find a better way to store these i could maybe put a pegboard in here and have it like mounted inside i'm not gonna hold you ikea is gonna take all my money um in the next couple of weeks because i think that would be the best way to store these extra equipment of course you can never go wrong with extra tools so this is a pretty much a, a tech kit it has all the, the screwdriver sizes that you're gonna need for whatever you need to get you know unscrewed is that a word unscrewed <laughs> then of course we have my trusty small little drill all this can go there we got tape measure extra mount for cameras the charger for that drill we have here papers right so these paperworks are for pretty much instruction manuals for all of the gear that i have that i think is going to be important in time my handy dandy box cutter i do need a new one to be honest like this is old it's crusty but i think i think it's kind of you know original we have a microfiber cloth to of course clean the, the screens of the equipment and my old iphone this is iphone 10 i use it for like top down um shots when i'm streaming for um, unboxing or card openings speaking about card openings i have a box of yuga cards up in here ah i just got hit in the face yeah so i have this so if you guys want you know to see unboxing content i guess let, let me know but this is just there um yeah, it's just there. I was gonna unbox it on stream um, a while back, but that's never got around to it. So it's just there. I'm um, catching dust. And of course, extra gear, well, old gear that was needed to be used for the installation of 
the back shot, but of course, you guys know the deal on this one, right? So we're gonna put it right here. Link to that video in the description as well. Yo, I'm just plugging everything today. Yo, this is gonna be a, a fantastic video. We have all oh, this thing right here. So of course, my wife, she just, she just, oh my God, I can't talk. She suggests that I got this like a while back. It's pretty much a candle. It smells great. It matches my aesthetic, black and gold. And then of course, all of my advanced.gg. I think we're running out of space, guys. Uh, I forgot about this. So this is another sling bag that I got before my um, Peak Design sling bag. Of course, link to that video is gonna be in the description or to the top of the left of the screen. This is a fantastic sling bag. Um, if you guys wanna see me make a video about it, let me know. I can go ahead and do it. It's really great. It also has a section for, remember that portable charger that I mentioned? You can put that charger in here, connect it from the inside, right? And then you'll be able to charge your phone from that particular slot. So it's a really um, fantastic bag. I think I'm gonna give this, actually I'm gonna give this to my wife so she can use it as well. It's super fun, I use this a lot of a lot of the times when I travel. When I went to PAX East um, last year, this is the bag that I used. So yeah, it's, it's pretty dope. It's from Alpaca, so again, if you wanna see me make a video about this, I can do that, I got y'all. We got some extra keycaps from Glorious. We got the coil cable, orange. Wait, that's kinda gold, so I like it. The actual keyboard, it's in here. If you guys wanna see it, let me know, or actually, Take a look. It's a 60, 65% keyboard. It's pretty heavy. Of course, it has RGB and it looks great, man. This was my first custom keyboard that I ever built. So I take a lot of pride into it. I would put it on the pegboard, but it's just too, um, too heavy. Now this thing, right? So I got this, I got this for Christmas, like a couple years ago. Yeah, you can even still see the, the, <laughs> The, the, the ribbon on it. So I got this from Christmas a while ago. This is a um, 12 volt heated auto seat cushion. So I guess, and it's from it's from Logitech, right? Yo, so smart, you're from Logitech. So yeah, so if you guys want to be warm in your vehicle, let me know. We can maybe do this as a giveaway or give this to my wife. I think she wanted it. So yeah, <laughs> let me know down in the comments if you guys will um, use this or rock it, but I had this in the closet for years and never use it. So it's brand new, brand spanking new. You know what this is, right? A tripod. The electronic WD-40, the screen cleaner for um, electronics, um, air duster for the keyboards, and CLP for my weapon. And they're all sitting on my wand, my Harry Potter Ravenclaw wand. If you guys wanna see me, avocadava, you know what I'm saying? I got gotcha. ya. All right, we got some extra parts for my C-stand, bunch of clamps. Now the thing is, how I'm gonna set this up, like how is this gonna be tailored, right? Cause we still gotta take all of this off. So I'll go ahead, fast forward and get this cleared up. Let's get it. All right, so we came a long way today. I think this is gonna be it for now. Um, the left side is completely filled with my range equipment and my gear. And the right side is filled with my tech equipment, extra gear and everything I pretty much need to create content. At the bottom, we have of course my drinks so I can replenish my stash as well as boxes that I need to go ahead and create videos for. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys go ahead and like, subscribe, comment down in the chat what you think so far of the setup. This is not done yet. So make sure you guys go ahead and stay tuned. Let's go ahead and take a, a quick look at how everything looks inside. Let's go ahead and start with the left side. So we got all the range gear to the left side of the closet, going all the way down to the target and extra bag that has some goodies in that bad boy. And then of course, we're going over to the right side. It has all of course, my um, rage equipment, not my rage equipment, my tech equipment, and I think I'll need to create content. So this is gonna be it for, for now. We have, of course, all the cleaning supplies, everything I need quick access to, to get whatever project I have done. I think it's pretty much um, built for productivity so far. So this is just the first part of this closet makeover. So make sure you guys go ahead, click that like button, subscribe, comment down in the chat what you think so far. And until next time, guys, peace. Oh, we got a lot of work to do.